this is the part they don't want to show you on TV. They only want to show you after this has been done so it looks good. I've immediately realized he's, there's nothing, there's no, there's no impulsion with the leg. So we need to get impulsion in the hind feet. So that's one thing we're going to get going. So watch here. One ounce. There we go. We need to get it to where right when we start to reach, he comes to life and we feel him load up the hocks a little and spring forward, right? So a horse has to be light to a leg. That's a key ingredient, impulsion, right? So watch my leg here. Hey, 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 you missed it, you missed it. There you go. Do you guys notice how when he jumped forward, the head came up? You can almost say he raised his withers a little, a little bit. So we need, to get him very, we need to get him much better to a leg. So watch my leg. Watch my hand. Hey. Hey. Thank you. So this is, this is kind of like the one that's kind of at the bottom of the trining triangle is impulsion. If, they, if, they're, if they're not light to a leg, you're, you, ain't gonna, you're, you just might as well. Hey. There's a change. Right. Little bit. We love it. How long did that take? Six times? Three minutes? But we have to, you, you have to actually do it. You know, make, do not let your leg become gray. Do not let your hand become gray, you know, black or white, either one ounce or 10 pounds. Watch me cut, watch my seat right here. Watch here. Hey, 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 hey. People say my horse is inattentive. Think of how much more attentive he's going to get to me in these slight movements I'm making as once he gets good, right? People say my horse doesn't pay attention. Well, he's heavy to your leg. That's, that's a good place to start. No, no, you don't understand. He's fine to the leg. It's very relative. It's very relative. Never tell somebody your horse is fine with groundwork or fine with stopping or no, he stops good. Well, that person just might pull the bridle off of him, put him in a dead run and try to stop him and prove you wrong. Right? <laughs> Never. Be very careful telling somebody your horse's groundwork is fine. Hey. So, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I want to do it and I want you guys to watch until you really see the change. And then I want you guys to just copy and paste. Make sure your horse can go. Hey. Love it. See how we don't use the, we don't kick them to make them go. We kick them because they didn't go, right? We don't use the rain to stop them. We use the rain because they didn't stop, right? That's how we got to start. We got to start kind of thinking like that. You know what I mean? Hey, now we're getting somewhere. Now it's starting to mean something. Okay, so now as we're walking, we're going to go for the trot. Watch here. Hey. Wake up. Right? This is the part they won't show you on TV. They only want to show you once it looks good. <laughs> right? I want, I want to reemphasize. This is the part they don't want to show you on TV. They only want to show you after this has been done so it looks good. Okay. Hey. That's how a horse should look when you ask him to go. When you reach, the feet come to life and they trot away. Or lope away or whatever, right? <coughs> how did we get that? Did we get that from being light or did we get it from being heavy? We got it from being both. The reason people say you got to be light-handed, you can't pull, don't be heavy. The reason people say that is it's very hard to explain no, 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 no. You can do all that, but you have to go light first. Hey, you missed it. You missed it. Wake up. Become more accountable. So if he was a colt, it probably wouldn't look, look quite like that. If this was like his third ride, it would be touch, 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 flap, 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 spank. Oh, good boy. Good. Right. As they get more sure, we start expecting more. The reason people only get their horse to third grade and that's where they ever get is because they settle for third grade. You got to step them up, but you got to work at where they're at, you know, so. Hey.
The only reason I'm so confident that this is going to work is because I truly do believe that a horse can feel a fly land anywhere on his body. That's what allows me to make myself truly be either one or 10. I actually believe that. I don't just know it, right? And I still struggle. I still have to remind myself that I have to believe that. <laughs> he'd say, if I did that on my horse, he'd start bucking. You're probably right, so don't do that. Break it down a little. Don't, be, don't just jump right on some random horse and be that black and white. Be a little gray for a few times, and as he gets more sure, you can get more clear. Right? Read the horse, you know what I mean? We don't use the leg. We don't kick them to make them go. We kick them because they didn't go. We're getting there. Hey. Love it. Love it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hey. Love it. I don't feel like I'm having to mash his body to get life in the feet. The video you just watched was just like pretty much every other video we do. It's all of the things that the human can start doing to teach that horse to have the same thoughts that the human is having more and more often and in more and more ways. That's the key to having an awesome horse and being able to actually enjoy it instead of just chasing problems every time you ride. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can become a Carson James Insider. Really neat deal, completely free. Just click right here for the details. We'll see you next time.